Hello guys, welcome back to a, another video. Welcome to the least used station in Merseyside. We're not here yet, but we're currently at Hoy Lake train station. I haven't been here for a very long time actually. I used to live around here um, last year and then last summer I met Jeff and Vicky from the All the Stations team over there, if you can see. And uh, they came and stayed in my old flat that I, because I used, like I said, I used to live around here. So we're heading to Upton Station, which is, of course, the least used station here in Merseyside. I hope you guys enjoyed the first uh, video that I did where I went to visit the Hoska Station in Lancashire. Again, being the least used station in Lancashire as well. Um, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it because it was quite an interesting video. Um, at this point, it's currently not up yet, but by the time this video goes live and goes up, it should be on the on the channel. But anyhow, let's get on with the day. I've just missed the train, so I've got to get the next one, but shouldn't be too long a wait. So yeah, guess I'll uh, catch you guys when we get to Bidston. <laughs> Just arrived, as you can see, at Upton Station, a very wet Upton Station, even if I do say so myself. It's not very heavy rain, so you shouldn't be able to see it on the camera. But we're just coming up to the bridge over the train line, and we are going to have a look at the timetables. There is, of course, a bus timetable here. Um, we're here at Merseyside, in Merseyside currently, so it's all Mersey Travel operated, so this is the local area map, I believe this is what uh, Vicky is always into. Um, this is the bus departure border, you've got many buses to West Kirby, to Liverpool, to Beechwood, uh, loads of places really, so yes, let's go and have a look at the uh, Arriva Trains Wales timetable. So my train was actually delayed by 10 minutes or so. It was due in at 32 minutes past. My train from Hoylake arrived at 36 minutes past. But um, uh, basically the train was late. But Okay, this, uh, we are currently here at, up to the station and it's uh, 32, 33, 33, 33, so that every hour up until 10.57 which is the last train of the evening. Uh, Mondays to Fridays, uh, up to the station, 33 past the hour and then it, uh, 4.36 and then at 5.46 and at 18.47 and then at 8.57 and then no train up until uh, at 9 o'clock but there is one at 10.57 as well as you can see there 
So there is a good selection of trains. Now these, this train line doesn't operate to um, Liverpool, all the way to Liverpool, so you have to change at Bidston. But yeah, I have been rambling a little bit too long already, so let's uh, go down onto the other platform first. I need to go and get a thumbnail if I can. So I've just come down to the other platform just now, and as you can see, there is a course. Um, dot matrix systems um, on both platforms there is one over there as well if you can see it just there uh, there is of course a shelter and of course there are no bins here which I have noticed there is another shelter over there as well and the foot there is a footbridge as such it's a, an old road bridge that's no longer in use uh, there is no, unfortunately, no step-free access down to this platform, but there is sort of step-free access over on platform one, heading towards Wrexham. So yeah, this station is on the Wrexham line, also known as the Borderlands line. And yeah, it's a very interesting station. It used to go further, I think, as well. Um, but let's, uh, without further ado, let's go and sit down and do the history, so I'll uh, catch you in a second. Well, we are still here at Upton Station, so I thought I would just come and sit down and uh, let's go through the history like we've done in the last one. So, we are just sat here in a really uh, interesting type of shelter at Upton Station. The station was opened in 1876 uh, as part of the Borderlands Line and the station's uh, name has always been Upton ever since it opened it goes along here from here all the way up through to Wrexham so yeah uh, basically the passenger numbers uh, shall be coming up soon uh, the passenger numbers for 2016 to 2017 are of course 32,740 uh, that will be on screen now uh, the passenger, if you divided that by 365 passenger, uh, days a year, uh, that would be 86, no, 89.6 passengers per day, which isn't very many at all. I mean, compared to the one I did recently, which was Hosker, so a lot more than that. That was only two and a half passengers per day, which is mental. Um, so, yeah, I... I have been to this station before uh, when I did this uh, least used station in Merseyside video last year um, I did it then but I've just decided to do it again as part of the least used station series and the next series that we are well the next station that I am planning to visit of course will be Stanlow and Thornton uh, yeah so other things to note there are no bins there are no help points here at all uh, there's no ticket machine or ticket office for that matter as well and uh, the line is not electrified uh, although there are potentially plans in the future to electrify the line up through to Bidston from Wrexham to Bidston and then that line will be part of the Mersey Rail network and they will be able to run a line from Wrexham through all the way through into Liverpool and they are I think the other plan is to double the service as well so as always you know we're going to carry on maybe have a little look around the area as well um, but I hope you're enjoying it so far so let's uh, carry on with the rest of the video If you were to live in this area, this would be a very handy station for you guys, I think. And of course, there is the 437. If you can focus on it, there we go. Just down there, Arriba buses. Uh, that is going to West Kirby. Um, yeah, so, I'm gonna wander around here. I've got like 20 minutes till my train. And we are going to go into the co-op and buy a Diet Coke because I need a drink. And I might even buy some lunch because I've not had any lunch yet, so I might do that as well. So yeah, 
I'm really enjoying like doing this whole East Jew Station series. I'm really hoping that we can get Jeff involved in one of them. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So, I guess uh, I'll try not to ramble on too much, but I guess I'll leave you guys and uh, come back to you when uh, the train is here. Well, I think this is going to be the end of the video. Uh, the train is uh, delayed by four minutes. It's currently due in at 25 minutes past one. Yep, yeah. and yeah, it's been really good coming back to Upton Station again to do another least used station video. So, you know, if you did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, because then that way you will definitely be notified of when a new video, you know, if you really enjoy these videos. Uh, I know I might go on about it, but it's really important, you know, you need to have these notifications on because otherwise you might lose out on watching my videos first. So, anyhow, again, thank you very much for watching. I shall see you very soon with a, uh, another Least Used Station video. And this is the second video in the series. And, yeah, stay tuned. And I shall catch you guys very soon again. Like I've said before, I keep rambling on. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit that like button, button. Hit the like button as well. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the station and what other stations you'd like me to go and visit, um, which are least used in different areas. And uh, if you would like to support me on Patreon, then please do. I would really appreciate that. It would help me get to more stations uh, further afield. It would help me to afford the train tickets and stuff like that. So <laughs> that would be a big help. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll catch you guys very, very soon with another video. Peace.